crazy for this one. The origin of 250 gemstones. Sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn. Yo, yo, yo. Michael here. 250 Gemstones Exchange. This is where I give you guys great content. And in exchange, you guys give me a like, comment, or subscribe. Hopefully, all three of the above. Today, today, today is a topic that has uh, always been controversial. And uh, it raises biases against the two genders. It raises uh, political perspectives judicial perspectives and most importantly the household and how the households are being ran today we're talking about child support child support one of the reasons i do not have kids because i am not paying no damn child support this let's let's put it on me first first part ignorant second part intellectual first part let's get it going um i'm not gonna get with it get with a broad and then me and the bitch break up and she continuously take me down the course see i heard horror stories about child support that made me be very very i mean very careful of who i stick my jimmy dean sausage in the large one anyway uh because the dudes that were telling me man just going down to the court, time away from work to go down to the courts. That's that's you losing money. The fees you got to pay. You got to pay her. I didn't know that you have to pay her lawyer lawyer fees too. Got to pay your lawyer. So I got to pay my lawyer, her lawyer, court fees, <clears throat> child support. You get a good job. And you have to report every time you bring in money into your household. You're no longer with the bitch no more. But you bring in money into your household. You grinding. You're like, you know, you still got your kids on your mind. That's how I be. If I, I still got the kids in my mind. It's kids on my mind all the time. I'm hustling. I'm grinding. Do whatever it takes to make sure that, you know, my kids know that I care for them. I just don't like their mom because she gets on my nerves. And it's sad that I got to see her true colors after you... After my little baby took their first breath, but you know that's life. And maybe I ignore some of the red flags. I'm gonna take that, take that on the chin. But at the same time, going through all of that, just dealing with her, having to deal with the court system. See, my biggest thing is, well, let's get to the first thing. First thing, I'm gonna be paying this broad, going to the court system, but she's gonna be having other dudes around my children. See. What you don't know is you're going to be paying for your own children, which is cool, but you don't know who's around your child. See, she's not obligated to tell you what nigga is around your child, what man is around your children, or what men are around your children. And she's a hoe. You see what I mean? It's very, it's very uh, agonizing to know that this woman is able to put you through this much hell. And if you're a woman and you listen to there's no way attack on women. I'm telling you from a man's perspective. But ultimately, I'm telling you from a common sense perspective and perspective as mature adults. So you're obligated by law to tell this girl everything that you're doing pertaining to your income. And if you don't, there's hefty penalties in uh some states they can even take your driver's license i know in texas i believe you t they could take your driver's license in texas if you fall too behind in your child support you can go to jail behind child support jail so i'm going to jail losing my license losing time away from my job just to go down to the courts paying lawyer fees court fees the man's always in my business off of a few minutes of shooting up this girl's club, putting cream in that pie. 18 minutes cost me 18 years, and Lord knows how much money. Cool. I was going to spend money on my kids anyway. It's just all that extra headache. But another point, well, stick on the first point. You don't know 
who's around your kid, but you have to report to this broad about everything that you're doing. That is not that is not a good feeling. You know what I mean? Second point is it breaks up the home. It's a lack of maturity. That's why I say both adults, both female and male have to act like adults, especially when it comes to the children. Woman puts you on child support and she wants to regulate the custody and she wants to just be mean and nasty and do all these things. You know what I mean? It's all about selfishness and power. She wants to destroy you. I've seen it with my own eyes. I see how these hoes are with their baby daddies. They see him struggling and it's like the more he struggles, she wants to crush him. And the more he tries to come up, she wants to crush him. Going back to the first point, you have to report how much you're making. So... She don't want, she wants this man to be miserable just like her for the next 18 years. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why <clears throat> because she she don't have any money. Nine times, I say eight times out of 10, this broad is laying on her back having children. She ain't worth shit. So the moment she hear you get a new girlfriend, she's going to try to take you down to the court. I need more money. I need more money. Or she see you on the gram, you out with your homeboys having a good ass time. You uh, you coming home from a long day of work, or you just on your off day. You say, like, you know what? I'm get out this goddamn house. I've been paying my dues. Let's go have a little fun. And she see you on the ground with your boys, or she see you on the ground with a couple of bras at the bar, having some motherfucking margaritas, strawberry, my favorite. But who am I? She see you and hear about you doing good things or trying to get. Uh, do good things with your life. She hears your plan. You, you try to put into motion for yourself. And she's going to try to sabotage that. I need more money. Oh, you bossing up? I need more money. Oh, you happy in your new apartment? I need more money. I've seen it with my own eyes. And in the meanwhile, the kids suffer. So before I go to the third point, which is the kids suffering, the maturity is the second point. That's why I don't deal with no woman that is not mature. Fellas, listen to me good. She got a big booty. She got some big titties. She got them sexy lips. She got that cute little nose. Pretty eyes. Long hair. Short hair. She dresses well. That don't mean nothing. Where is the broad's maturity? And where's her intellect? And watch. And if she... Let's just say... uh. You know, you do date a single mom for it. God knows, I don't know why, but it say you do. Look how she interacts with her baby daddy. Look how she interacts with her own daddy, her father. You got to see if she shows, uh, does she show adoration towards her baby daddy? You know, even though we didn't work out, I still adore you because you are the father of my child. And you do still have a special place in my heart. For some reason, we're not working out. That's cool. That's you know what I mean? She's showing some type of uh, essence about herself. She's showing some type of awareness. Is she cool with her daddy? You know what I mean? When her daddy comes around, is she jumping to the phone? Hey, daddy, I love you. I miss you. Can't wait to hang out. How's mom? You know, when her dad come around, does she roll her eyes? What's the history with her and her dad? You know what I mean? These are very, very, very critical things you fellas have to look at. Thank God I didn't end up like Kanye and that's just crazy. 200000 a month. Like I said, when I do stuff about other celebrities, because I'm a celebrity. That's how I look at it. I'm a celebrity. So people are going to be talking about me and all of them, all of them, my business. You know, that's just part of the game. But like I said, I have no dog in the fight, male or female. But the maturity. Why do we need now? Now I'm just talking about I'm talking about all cultures black white asian but the american culture i don't know about the other country i know about the american culture is to just have babies and put them in on child support you know what i mean the maturity would say you, you want, want me to believe that a grown-ass man a grown-ass woman can't sit down even if y'all break up y'all can't sit down like adults and say look we're not together but we have enough competence we have enough life experience to sit down and say 
we can agree on our own terms when we should, uh, you know, have the visitations. We can set up our own visitations. We can set up our own payment plan. I don't need the motherfucking government to tell me how much my kids need. I know how much my kids need. I'm looking at them. They need some, they need some shoes. They need pampers. They need this. They need that. I know how to calculate in my own motherfucking mind. Most men, you know, we all slip up. Dude. We all human. We all slip up. You know what I mean? But two adults can't sit down and talk. The woman can't sit down with maturity. The man can't sit down at the table. We're not working out, babe. But you know what? For the best, you know, to, for what's best for our children, I think it's best that I give you such and such money a month. What do you think about that? Oh, I'm going to need a little bit more. Well, why do you need a little bit more? And then you guys work it out like adults to try to make this situation as normal as possible. Because see, now you as a man, I'm talking to the fellas. Nigga, you're on your own now. That means you got to pay 100% of your bills when you move out from this bra's house. And you still got to pay her. So you're paying for two households. You're paying for two households. Let me reiterate, you guys, you men are paying for two households. When you leave that, it's cheaper to keep her. This is what they're talking about. You're going to have to go out there and pay $1,000 for some punk-ass apartment, right? Including all your other bills. The market is set to where the average pay is, what, 50 k 50 55 maybe? 12000 is already going to rent. That's not even including taxes. Food, maintenance on your car. So you got to just taking care of yourself. It's an uphill battle. And now you got to pay for everything that comes along with you to keep yourself together. All your insurances, dental, vision, health, car. And then you still got to pay for wherever your children are at. You still got to pay for your babies. Here's the thing. When you give her money, you're not just paying for them little babies, pampers and stuff like that. You're going to make sure this bra is straight because your children are going to be with the bra. Does the bra have a car? Oh, shit. She ain't got no car. The car broke down. Who's going to pay for that? She's riding in the car, but the car is it needs repairs. Who's going to pay for that? She's on a fixed income. She only makes so much at her job. She should pay for it. But in your mind, you know, you don't trust the bra no more. You don't trust her with anything. She's irresponsible. That's one of the reasons why you guys broke up. Her head is not where it's supposed to be. So now you're thinking, let me go check on the car. Let me see if I can fix it. Because I got to make sure that my kids get around in this city. My kids are not going to be walking. So even if she does get the car fixed, for example, you're still worrying about your kids. You got men around, you got she's gonna be, she's gonna be, excuse my French, she's gonna be humping, fucking, getting her black getting her back blown out, and she's still gonna be going out with her homegirls. Now you gotta think to yourself, how classy is this bro? See, all these questions you ask it now, you didn't ask it when you were blowing her mouth and her back out. Now you start to think like, damn, is she bringing niggas over to my to my house? Is she bringing niggas over, get, you know, getting her freak on while my kids in the other room sleep? Or oh, their kids might be up. Oh, go to your room, go to your room. Sneaking niggas in. Most of you... We all human beings, but in these times, these girls are whores. You understand what I'm saying? But you over you overlooked all these red flags. You overlooked all these red flags when you was with the broad. Now you're thinking, damn. Is it is it especially if you have a daughter? Oh man. You don't know what this nigga's about. You don't know who this nigga know. You don't know if this nigga been to jail. You don't know if he touched children. You don't know anything so that, so what i'm saying is even though you're not paying the uh the monetary price 
In certain situations, you're going to be paying a mental, spiritual, and emotional price every single day if you are caring and loving father. You see what I mean? That in itself is sometimes worse than paying abroad. 200000 dollars I don't give a damn how many billions you got. That is way too much money. Intellectual, intellectual. My only advice is for the men to be very careful where you stick your Jimmy Dean sausage. Watch watch where you store that bologna. Watch where refrigerator you put your bologna in. Because it's not a game. It is not a game. What's unfortunate is that God created man for woman and woman for man. Primarily woman for the man, but man was here and man was lonely. Man made that woman. It was supposed to be a beautiful love story. It was never intended to be like this. The reality that we see is not really how it's supposed to be. I mean, everybody said, what's that term everybody use on these streets? It is what it is. It is what it is. Or it is whatever we want it to be. Man and woman supposed to be together, working together, building, loving one another, having each other back, being forgiving, and passing, all, passing on all of these wonderful traits down to the next generation so the next generation has something to aspire to. Next generation can be inspired to do the same thing. The next generation can have some type of foundation because they seen it done before. These court systems have created it created a a dynamic to where all these families are collapsing because the man and woman can't get along and they profiting off of that. I didn't know that when a man pays child support, the courts get a cut too. So men be careful and understand that this is not how it's supposed to be. Man and woman, mommy and daddy, brother and sister, supposed to be best friends, supposed to be creating loving memories. But I guess that's not the case.